Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have some fantastic news. One UI 5.0 beta with Android 13 is now launching on more Samsung Galaxy smartphones. The latest phone that is now allowed to sign up for the beta is the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. So if I go to my settings right now, and if I tap on software update, this is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. You can see that the latest update is now downloading, it is actually ready. That's One UI 5 upgrade with Android 13 beta. Now let me quickly show you guys how to get this on your phone right away. So all you have to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click that link, you're going to be at my website. If you scroll down, you want to download the latest Samsung members application. So click that link. You're going to be at the Galaxy Store and simply click update to get the latest Samsung members. Once you have it, you tap on open, alrighty, and then once you click on open, you're going to see on the top there's a bunch of banners or you're going to see a bunch of benefits at the bottom. You can swipe through until you see the One UI beta program, you click on it. Once you click on it, you're going to see uh, registrations for One UI beta or now open. It says S21, 21 plus, 21 ultra. So three new phones and then you click on register. Once you do that, at the bottom, you're gonna read all this if you want, and you tap on enroll. In my case, I'm already enrolled, so it is saying withdraw. But once you click on enroll, within a few seconds or minutes, or even 10 to 15 minutes, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to go to your settings, go to software update, and click on download and install. Once you do that, it's actually gonna to start to download this and at the bottom, you can see it is going to be almost two gigabytes, and it's going to include security patch for September. And it looks like it is ending in ZVIA. So once you have this downloaded, all you do is you tap on install. It's going to start the download process. Let's wait for that to get done. This one takes a little bit longer than usual. We'll be right back. Now, even though this is the first beta that has shown up on the S21, this has all the improvements of beta 1 beta 2 and also additions from the beta 3 that we are supposed to get on the s22 very soon all right so the update is now complete i'm going to go to my settings i'm going to go all the way down i'm going to tap on about phone and right away a brand new feature with the one ui 5.0 you now on top of the name of your phone you see the actual image of the phone and not only do you see the image of the phone it replicates whatever color that you have so I have a custom brown S21 Ultra, and that's exactly what I'm seeing right over here. But if I go to my software over here, you can see 5.0 Android 13. And I'm going to swipe up, and as I swipe up, one more thing I've noticed is the animations are now more stable. So previously, when you swipe up like this, the animation ju jumps all over the place before it comes back into its icon. Now it does it better and smoother, as you can see, okay? So that's fantastic. But let's look at a couple of new features. So one thing I want to show you guys, and I will be back with a video showcasing all the new features. But right now, I'm going to give you a quick preview. So if you go to your settings, and if you go into battery and device care, at the bottom, you're going to have the maintenance mode. That's brand new. So when you click it, it basically allows you to put your phone into the maintenance mode before you give it away for repair so people cannot access your private files but they can still fix your phone. So we are going to look at that in the detailed video. But the other thing that's also very cool, let me just get rid of this, go back to settings. Uh, again, battery and device care. I'm going to go to memory. And now you're going to see you have an option to turn off the RAM Plus if you don't think you need it. Previously, this was not here. What you could do was pick from these options. Now you can turn it off. Now, again, on the later phones, like the S21, S20, S22, you probably don't need the RAM Plus that much. It's probably better for older phones, so you can turn this off, and you're going to save a couple gigabytes of storage space instead. Alrighty? But it's going to be up to you. Now, one more really cool thing that I like in the camera, if you go to camera, and if you tap on these settings, and if I go down a little bit right here, don't have to go down, it's right there, you can now add a watermark to every photo you take. You can use the model name, 
you can use date and time you can add it together or have one off and you can also modify this model name to whatever signature that you want alrighty you can change the font and the alignment of that watermark so when I go to my camera now and if I take a photo if I go into that photo you just heard that photo snap you're gonna see a watermark at the bottom in the middle as I set it in the watermarks setting alrighty so that is also great again it's gonna be right here under watermark another great thing is if I go to my phone and if I go into a particular contact and if I tap on edit now what I can do is tap on view more all the way at the bottom I can have an individual call background for any specific contact so your father your mom your friends your brothers your sisters they can all have different video call backgrounds that you can set from here photo or video fantastic customization we also have a couple new things here again I'm gonna make a video with the full details for the s21 ultra but uh, press and hold tap on widgets and we have two new things one we have the smart suggestions which is going to be right here so I can have this this is a dynamically changing app suggestion widget so these uh, apps are going to change based on what app you use all the time it's going to be dynamic that's one and the other thing you can do is you're going to be able to stack widgets so you can have two widgets and put them inside each other of the same size now let's go to my widgets again let's grab a uh, device care that's a one by one I'm gonna put it right here okay and now I'm gonna grab one more one by one or what you can do is you can press and hold and go to create a stack if it's available so it looks like here it's not available if you press and hold if a stack is available you can click on plus to create one so this is not gonna work so let's try one that works widgets let's go into clock and let's uh, put this one right here and now press and hold and I can create a stack click on it now let's see what stacks I can do let's do Chrome add now I have two widgets in one widget window so that's stackable widgets that's the smart suggestion widgets and of course there's some more features but like I said we'll be right back to show you all those features for now if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right one ui 5.0 is coming to more and more samsung phones all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.